Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel, it's me Kazaru. In today's video we are going to be doing my first ever project, a pan. Now I've never done one of these before but I kind of get the gist of them and now I want to show you guys. I've got a lot of different uh, types of makeup. I'm not going to do like just like my one cream and then powders and then cheek. I'm just going to show you a collection of items that I am trying to get down to the bottom of and that I always go to use pretty much on a daily basis and I'll show you how much I've got left to use them up and yeah go from there my first ever project pan give me a big fat juicy thumbs up if it's something you're into and like would like to see more of and maybe give me some tips in the comments below of how I should be doing my project pan or how maybe I could do it a bit differently because there's a lot of videos a lot of people that do project pans and they do them in their own sort of ways I'm trying to think of a different way to do my own style of project panning so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Kazaru. Okay, here we go. Let's get into this. Okie dokie, so my first one is going to be my Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And it's lovely. It's in the shade Moon. I've spoken about this loads on my channel, but if you're new to the channel, hi and welcome. Um, this is a gloss that I absolutely love. And it's great for layering on to top of different coloured lipsticks. Um, so it looks like this. Try to make you come in a bit closer um and you can see i love that you can actually see through the bottle because some bottles you can't so i have about that much left now i'm not going to get a measuring i'm not going to measure it or anything um i think some people do on their project pans so it's a measure and do all that kind of stuff and even weigh them i'm not gonna be that uh do that on mine i just gotta lift it up and show you and basically update you as and when you know how much it's going down so yeah i use this all the time i have this on today um, just for my lips. It's just really pretty. It has a nice sparkle. Yeah, it looks like it's got some like glitter inside, but when it's on the lips, you don't. Oh, pretty zoomed in then. You just don't. It just doesn't come across glittery. But anyway, it's my favourites. And that's how much I've got left. So we're putting this in my first ever project pan. So I guess I should write a list. Yeah, okay. So this is number one in my project pan. Almost at the bottom. Uh, next one is mascara. I did this is a repurchased one, but already I feel like this this is the Maybelline New York uh, Sensational Sky High mascara. I do really like it, but I find it that's the one in case you're interested. But I do find that this mascara um it doesn't last that long, and I can't remember at the top of my head how much it was. Um, I'll try and link it down below for you, but it just doesn't last that long. And yeah, it's nice and it gives you a nice effect. But today I'm actually wearing a different mascara. I'll show, show you what that is, but I don't know how to measure this. I guess with this I'd weigh it, but I don't know what it weighed before to begin with. But I can actually, see, can I, see, I can almost see to the bottom. There's some stuff in there still. There's definitely some stuff on there and there's some stuff on the wand. But I don't know how much I've got left to go. But there is some stuff in there. But I know it's getting low again. So that's also in my project pan. I'm going to try and use that one up. Now this, I don't have to do with this. <laughs> because I, this is like really, really old. Okay, so this is my NYX Sweet Cheeks a Glow Eclect. And this is in Rose and Play. It's really beautiful. And I've just kept it. Um, I think you can still get these. But I've already hit pan in this one. But there's still loads to use up. I was thinking maybe about putting it in a different container, using it on my nails. But I don't want to chuck it away. But it is really, really old. It doesn't seem like it's gone out of date. It doesn't give me spots or anything when I wear it. It's uh, a blush, but it has a nice uh, shimmer to it. But yeah. I, uh, not sure what to do with it though. Do I keep it? Do I chuck it? Do I keep using it? It's just... But I'm just going to show you my finger. It's just so pretty. I'll do a swatch for you. That's what it looks like. It's just so pretty. And I'll just show you on the back of my hand. It's a bit easier. It's just creamy and beautiful. I mean, just look at that pink. It's just stunning. It's just so pretty. I can't chuck it away. I don't care how old it is. I'm keeping it. 
long do I keep using it? It doesn't make me have a... I don't get a reaction from it or anything like that. And I guess because it's a powder, um, I've experienced things go bad more if it's like a liquid or something. But with powders, and, but certain eyeshadows also have the same. They do go funny. Like I think if it's like a cream to powder, it can go funny. But this is just a powder. Oh, it's just so stunning. I need to look up um, if they still make these because I want to check out and get some more because they're just... They're gorgeous. Um, so there's that. Now I'm a mess. One second. Get that off me. And they come off really easy as well. Well, it's like one swipe and it's off. Boom. I love that. Oh, and what I was trying to say to you, I've just got my little makeup drawer here. The mascara I have. Oh, mascara I have on today is this one. I did a video with this the other day. I said to update you. So I'm wearing this now. And the eyeshadow I'm wearing is uh, Beauty Bay, the neutral, neutral, neutrals, neutral, neutrals palette. And it's lovely. I love it. It's like my go-to if I just want a neutral, easy look. It's a palette I can go to all the time and it always looks great. Simple as that. And it's really easy to use. And I think it only cost me £14, but Beauty Bay always have sales on. So just keep an eye out. You can get it probably for £9. Um, it's amazing. I love it. I mean, just look. And they last on my oily hooded eyelids for a really long time. I haven't even put a base down, uh, eyeshadow primer. And that's what it looks like and the payoff. It, all this is an eyeliner. It's all with the palette, with the eyeshadow. Just, it speaks for itself. But anyway, this is the mascara I'm wearing. I actually really like it. I think actually this actually might be, this is cheaper. It's like £3.40 something. I've got it on Amazon. But you can pick it up at Boots, Asda, most... Uh, supermarkets will have this. I think this at the moment might be kicking this one's butt. Um, this one's also cheaper. So yeah, I might probably get this one again. But yeah, it's a funny one, isn't it? With mascaras, because you just don't know if it's gonna make you, your eyes go like watery or sensitive, or sometimes you could get a bit itchy. Um, that's what I find with some of them anyway that I use, or you just end up like a smudged looking panda under the eyes but at the moment this one's quite good you can get it on amazon as well if you're you know can't get to the shops go on amazon uh what else that i would keep using Ooh, so this is going to go in so this is my mac you already see if hit pan this one this is soft and gentle again this one is so old should i be chucking it out i still use it like if I put it like this, you can see how much I have. It used to be a big dome. <laughs> I remember at the time I bought this, it was so much money. I've had this for years. Like seriously, I think more than four years. It's kind of disgusting, isn't it? That's how old this is. I've had it for ages. Maybe I should have a separate container of like products that have that really, really, really old, like past their date, and I shouldn't really be using them or putting them in my face. This is how old this one is. But it still works. That's beautiful. And we will swatch this. That's a highlighter. Uh, let's just put that down after. It looks like this. It's beautiful. It actually is kind of giving me, because the new Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter has just come out. Lovely packaging. It is giving me the, the, the MAC soft and gentle vibes. But I do need a new one, and this is really old, so maybe the next highlighter I might get might be the ABH one. I feel like in the swatches it just looks like this though. It's literally this, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't come across as a chunky glitter or anything. I'll try to get as close as I can with my camera. It doesn't come across as chunky glitter or anything like that. It just has a lovely shine to it. It's just really pretty love it but again it's just really really old should i be chucking it out should i be like there's another nail varnish one to put up is it to put on use this in like a nail varnish topper it's gorgeous i love it even though my case is broken still love it <laughs> and the case is like magnetic which is kind of cool but i dropped it a long time ago i've got a little crack here in the middle of my eye but i love it 
holds a very special place in my heart. It was like, this was my first ever Mac product as well that I bought. So that's also why I don't want to chuck it. But yeah, so I guess that's in my project pan. So it's that, I love it. This I use all the time. Um, I haven't hit pan yet. So I use my eyebrows, I know it looks a bit dirty there. I do, I will clean it, that's the wax bit. Um, this is uh, Ash Brown is the colour and it is, I believe, is this Wet n Wild? What are you? Ultimate Brow Kit, it is called the Ultimate Brow Kit. Are you Wet n Wild? I can't find what it is now, I'm pretty sure this is Wet n Wild and I bought this ages ago. I think I got it on Beauty Bay. It comes with a brush, little speedy tweezers, I know that looks really gross. Whilst we're here, let's just give it a little clean. You can just get a wet wipe I just put it in there. And it just takes away, see? It just takes it all away. And then it'll be nice and clean again. It just gets rid of the powder that's sitting on top of the wax. Oh, I lost my tweezers. But anyway, <laughs> see, it just come up really nice. But I haven't hit pan yet, and I use these two, both these shades. So I do the lighter one, the front of my eyebrow, and then the dark one, I do know the arch, darken this up. But yeah. Um. I use other things. One minute, I'm just going to pick up my tweezers. But anyway, how cute are these? Came with these. So cute. So cute. Um, I don't use them. Oh my gosh, my partner the other day wanted some tweezers. Mm -hmm. Here they are. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it comes with tweezers and it comes with a little brush and a little spoolie. And you get a dark colour and a light colour and it comes with some wax. But yeah, haven't hit pan on it yet. Like, there's a slight, mm, I bend it over. It's like a slight indent, but not really. But it's really good. I do like, yeah, I use this all the time. Would I repurchase this? Don't know now. Maybe. I might just see what else is there. But if it's like the cheapest option, because I use it all the time. And I feel like if you're using something all the time, you don't really want to spend some, you don't want to spend a lot on something that you use every day. And I do use this pretty much every day to do my brows. Almost use it like set my brows in place after I use my NYX Lip and Snatch tint pen just to do like my little hairs. Because if you are new to the channel, I don't really have my eyebrows are really, really thin. Like if you can see, I have like little hairs here, um, but I'm missing a load up near the front. I have a few, but not really much there at all. So yeah, so I do like using this. So I guess that's gonna go in my yeah. In my project pan, making a little collection up of my table. Um, oh, this I pretty much finished this. This is my Prodigy Choice Exfoliate, uh, two percent BH liquid. You guys know what this is. Um, basically, it's for it's got acid. It's meant to unclog your pores, it shrinks and large pores, and smooth and evens your skin tone. I've used it a lot. I'm not gonna buy it again. I think this is a please don't come for me, but I feel like this is a little bit over height for what it is. For me and my skin, it didn't. I didn't really notice a difference really. Um, it has like some silic acid in the aqua, which is just water. It, yeah. Green tea. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about. Not gonna get it again. I've got some left in it, so obviously I'll use it up. You can get a bigger bottle quite expensive bottle. I think I just got this little one. I think I got this on Amazon. It has a little cap like this. It's, sort of, it's not a horrible smell but it doesn't really do anything. Or my skin's gotten so used to it so it doesn't work. I don't know but I feel like it's over hyped. I'm not going to get it again. Not for me. Uh, this I really love and I need to buy some more moisturiser for my face because I'm running out. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And you can see, I'm not going to, well, how we could do this. Yeah, you can actually, because it's like jelly. And it's literally almost at the bottom. This has got a scent to it. I did actually originally order the one that was unscented, but Amazon sent me the one that has the scent to it. I do actually want to buy this again, unscented. So when this one goes, the scent is nice though. And for me, sometimes I'm like really sensitive and I have like red cheeks and I suffer with a little bit, um, I just said it's rosé, sir. Rojo, jo, I can't do that. <laughs> I just have like red sensitive skin and like red cheeks. Rojo, oh, that's what I said it correctly then, I think. Um, it's like red here. Um, yeah. And this has 
because it has fragrance in it, I would thought, like, normally it would make me, like, sting here and here, but it doesn't. It's actually quite nice. So, yeah, I would get this again, but unscented. So that's obviously going to go in my project pan. I don't think it's going to take me that long to use up, to be honest. Um, when I do use it, obviously, over my face, I always like to take some near my ears, but I do down my neck here as well. I think the other day my partner walked in and he was like, why am I um, putting moisturiser on my ears? Well, why not? It's part of your skin. It's like body. Do you know what I mean? So I just put a little bit like around here and behind the ears and a little bit in my earlobes. It makes your ears feel really soft. <laughs> I thought that was a normal thing to do. Do you moisturise like near your ears when you do your face moisturiser? I do. <laughs> um, what else is next? Uh, this is next. I've almost finished this. Um, I haven't gone to buy another one yet. I might though, because I actually really like this and it takes off my makeup really really well I find sometimes if I just use soap and water my skin feels really dried and like tight um, but I do have a Dr Bonner's soap that I am using but I can't show you right now because it's in the bathroom um, the kids also like using that one too it's a good one, it's really their soap but sometimes I'll go in and be like on my hand, take it because it's really good at actually taking makeup off but this one is Garnier Skin Active New Formula, Marcella Water, all in one, remove makeup, it's fragrance free, get the fragrance free one, the pink bottle one, and it will say it there on the bottle. Um, it's kind of funny though, because we shake it up to make sure the lid's on. It gets really bubbly and foamy, <laughs> which I think is kind of fun to do. I know, I'm such a big kid. <sighs> Save what you could do. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this. Um, I don't know how much I got left, I got a lot of measuring. I use this often, I'll use it later when I take my makeup off and then I take my makeup off um, with it and then I will splash my face with some water still because I feel like sometimes it still leaves like a little bit of a residue on your skin it says you don't need to use water afterwards but I still do because it feels like sort of, not like a horrible sticky tacky feeling but there's something still left on the skin that's the best way I can explain it to you um, so I always go in with some more water and splash on my face but anyway yeah, so there's that so that's going to go in my project pen got this absolutely oh my gosh this is like my new holy grail don't want to share it with you because then all of you are gonna buy it okay 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 i'll let you know what it is this is can you see what it's actually called this is a revive eye serum it's got jing jing can't say jing jing sang <laughs> i'm bad normal and um, this is beauty of joseon or jos joseon just to zoom you in it's that one and it looks like this I love the tube, like the packaging. The packaging is like little sort of misty hair and you just take it off and then you just do a little pump. I'm not gonna pump it now because I don't wanna waste it, but I do a little pump. I do it under the eyes and her, anywhere where basically I have wrinkles with. I do her, I do it under her, I do my forehead. I love it. I even do this little bit near my neck here. And this has actually helped because I suffer with media also. Um, builds up with keratin stuck under like my skin basically that it's hard for me to get them off unless I get a pin and like try and push them out it's kind of gross but it is what it is um I have like one here I had a big one here it's gone and I had this little one here in my eye it's shrinking this basically is definitely helping to get rid of my media which I'm so happy about and also um before I use the inky list retinol I that serum and it didn't really do anything for me but I've noticed a difference of using this within like day three or four yeah so I would definitely be buy this again can't remember the top of my head how much I got it for I did buy it from Amazon I checked all reviews first because I was a bit like iffy at first buying it from Amazon but just check reviews make sure everyone says it is the right product that's getting delivered to you and not a fake product I believe this is the correct one it's not a fake product and it's working and I love it and I would definitely buy it again don't know how much I've got left but I use this pretty much every other night it's so gentle though you could use this every night to be honest with you it's a really good one I mean I am I forget how old I am I am in my 30s I'm 36 I'm 36 yeah I'm 36 and um I have sensitive skin and this doesn't irritate me or burn or sting um I'll totally go for it if you're looking for a retinol eye cream I think it's brilliant i love it it says it's got jing zang the one i can't say jing zang roots 
it's 10% and it's got retinol liposum, which is 2%. So yeah, I love it. I actually want to check out some more stuff from this company. Beauty of Jason. 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 Yeah. Really impressed. So that is going to go in with my project pen. This is like makeup, just like skincare. It's makeup and skincare. It's both. <laughs> I feel like I should, I don't really want to do a separate video because I don't have much, I've got like one, two, three, four bits of skincare. But anyway, the next one is also skincare. So this is uh, Up Circle. I think last time I called it Upcycle. Sabine. But anyway, it's Up Circle. It's a face moisturiser. It smells lovely. It comes with like a frosted glass, little tin lid and it smells really lovely. It's got like a hint of orange in it and it's really, really thick. I don't use it for my face because I suffer with media and if I put something too rich on my face, I find I get more popping up, which I don't want. So for me, I use like a water-based moisturiser, a light gel one, that's what I use. Nothing too heavy for my face. And this is just enough um, to keep my, the moisture in. I have combination skin. I don't get too oily or too dry. I'm like in the middle, um, but yeah. So anyway, back to this. Um, I use it for my hands and also for my body and that sounds really weird and it's only little but I actually use this as, as a body like moisturiser like my knees, my elbows, anywhere where you need a bit more moisturiser, moisture basically, a bit more hydration, I whack this on and I was going to show you like how thick it is, it's like that, it's like whipped cream and I just love putting it on my hands. It's beautiful and afterwards my hand will look all shiny and beautiful just gotta take off that highlighter i have on my hand back back of that off it's just lovely it's a great moisturizer it feels all smooth it's still there you can still do it there it's not horrible and slimy it's going away it does go away and it doesn't leave a horrible residue like some moisturisers do. And then my skin just feels silky smooth like a baby's bum. <laughs> it just feels really nice and it has, and it gives off like a nice glow to the skin. Now, I looked on their website, you can't get this in a bigger bottle. So please, up, circle. Please, can you make this into a big bottle, like a squeezy pump tube so you can maybe like this, whack this into it. So then I can use it all over my body or just have a bigger one, because they have this one. I mean, how many grams? This is 60 mils. Um, I would like this bigger, please. Please, because it's really nice. Oh, I love, gosh, you put this over your legs. They look stunning, absolutely stunning. It's great, I love it. Check them out, check this one out. You can also get this one, Amazon. I think I actually got this one from Amazon. I love it. It's got vitamin E in it, aloe vera, it's made in the UK. Uh, are you tested on animals or vegan friendly? I think they are vegan friendly. I don't think they are tested on animals. When I check them out, I think they're all good. But don't harm me with that one. I can't find my box. <gasps> there it is. Yes, they are vegan friendly, cruelty free. There you go. Comes to a box like this. But check them out. I really like them. I just don't have it in a box because I go to reach for it, so I just have it in my drawer. That's what it looks like and what it comes in. It's really nice, especially winter coming. You want like a good like hand cream or just a good all rounder. It's really good. It is actually for your face though. So if you have really dry skin, this would be great for your face. Really, really good. Again, I'm not putting it all over my face because I suffer with like media bumps, and yeah, I have gone to put it on my face, and it hasn't made me actually have more. But I just I don't want to risk it because I'm having success at the moment getting them to go away using these two products. So yeah, I think it's more of this that is actually helping. But yeah, so that will go in my project pan. What else have we got to add into my project pan? Another thing from up. I keep calling it up. It's up circle. Up circle is a soap cleansing bar. It's cinnamon and ginger. I like cinnamon, I like ginger, that's why I wanted to try it out. And I kind of got sick, to be honest, with um, shower gels in the bottle. Just, just, just that consistency. I wanted to try a soap bar. So that's why I tried this. So the same company that did this. So I picked up this one. Um, I can't show you how much I've got left. 
it's like a flat bar of soap now it was quite thick and now it's like down here <laughs> um oh it has lovely ingredients again not tested for animals it's vegan they're against using plastic or something i think plastic um and certified b corporation i don't actually know what that means let me know down below if you know what that means i think it just means they're quite good and green and use friendly products i'm assuming that's what it means um yeah made in the uk again uh natural ingredients and it just smells lovely this is a really nice one i also i was really scared because it's got cinnamon and ginger i was scared to wash my face with it when i was in the shower but i did and it didn't sting or anything it was absolutely fine but i imagine though like most things if it did get to go if it did get in your eye yeah it's gonna aggravate it and sting a bit so just wash out some water you'll be good to go but yeah that one what else so let's check out some eyeshadow palettes and see if i've hit pan with any of them let's do that next okay these aren't eyeshadow palettes these are like more like face palettes and i use these ones often if you watch my videos um you will know bh cosmetics the bellini one <clears throat> almost hit pan here you can see the crisscross square i have to zoom you in and move to one side you can see so i think it almost hit pan on this one i use this one quite a lot i like to mix georgia peach with Sorry, I've got a frog right <clears throat> Excuse me. I mix Georgia Peach with uh, Peachy King quite a lot. And I just mainly use this top row. This one's got glitter in. This is Peach of Cake. I don't always go to use that one. And I don't really ever go to use Peach Please. It's a very orangey one. It's nice. I think maybe I'm just too scared to use it. I might just use it maybe as an eyeshadow. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Let's see how that one goes. Yeah, so I'm putting this... In. I use it every day. If I put this in my project pan, I reckon I'm going to get to use up Georgia Peach very, very soon. Yeah, we'll put that one in for sure. Next one, because I use it often, which you know what? I haven't used it as often. It's my Belgian waffle at BH Cosmetics. I mean, how long ago did these even come out? But I still love them. I still use them. Bottom rows, all highlighters for your face or eye whatever really wherever you want to put it <laughs> and then we've got some lovely contouring shades or bronzer shades for your face i don't really ever use this shade but i use these two and i like to mix them up but yeah so i try and use up more of this lovely colors i mean especially this maple one let's just swatch it now i can't help but swatch you like it though right you like swatches don't you of course you do it looks like this and on the hand, it looks like this. Ah. You're not seeing it very well. Yeah. But it's just that lovely. Let's just go again. That's a poo swatch I did, sorry. That's bad. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. That's maple. I love all of them. They're all really lovely. They're lovely. The one I get to use more, though, is, um, I would say, this one. So this is... This is syrup. And let's put it there. And it's just this is pretty. They're really smooth as well. They're so smooth, these highlighters. Yeah, maybe I don't need the ABH highlighter thinking about it because these sort of give me such a lovely smooth look on the skin. So maybe I don't. That's the thing, isn't it? You get carried away, you see stuff that's coming out and you're like, oh, I really like that, oh, I want to buy that. And then you just got to go back, look through your collection, guys, and see what you've got going on. Because, lo and behold, I have a row of free highlighters for my face and eyes and, yeah. And they are really stunning. Gorgeous. Right, I'm just going to wipe my hands and I'll be back with the next product. Okay, so I'm going to put in this one. Again, though, this is really, really old. I think I'm going to try and decanter some of these eyeshadows, though. And do nail varnish toppers with them or something but uh, i definitely have some indents in here and you can see where i've gone into this shade quite a lot this one this one Th these are like my favorite these guys here these guys I haven't really gone into these so much but i think also because it's so old some of the shades they the, sh the shimmery ones work fine but i think some of the pink ones have gone a bit like funny so i'm not sure though um but yeah i've used that is it born or bouillon fresco use this one quite a bit but yeah i think some of these soon though would be hitting pan there's definitely a little dip there's definitely dips in this one and this one but yeah but i don't want to do a thing where all next week i use one color 
I know some people do that on their project plans as well to use up some of their makeup. I'm going to think of different ways of how I can do it. Maybe just use this one palette all next week or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. But this is the one of my eyeshadow palettes where I've got more dips in than others. So I'm going to put this one in the project pan and see if we can use some of this one up and do some nice eye looks with it. Because I bet a lot of you watching me have this one at home or something similar. So yeah, so we can work that out together and have, have some fun with it. And then I'll find out what shade it is that's not really working here or I don't want to put on my eyes because it's just, yeah, pass it cell by day. And then we'll do nail varnish looks with it. Because that'd be fun. Okay. So they're going all in my project pan. If I get anything else I'm going to add into a project pan, I'll do a project pan too. Um, let me know in the comments below any tips or tricks of how I should be doing a project pan. Like I said, this is my first one. I'm also, yeah, I've watched a few people. I'm going to link some of their videos and mention them down below. Because um, there's one girl that I came across, she does a really, she's just really bubbly and cheery. And I think she's, yeah, also based in the UK. Um, yeah, she's just lovely. And I'll mention her down below because I can't remember her name at the top of my head right now. But yeah, please give me a big fat juicy thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And remember, makeup should be fun. Uh, don't take it so seriously. And take care of yourself. Okay, guys. <laughs>